Because physics spans such a wide range of phenomena, from very small things to very big things, from very short times to very long times, it's useful to have a concept of order magnitude that we can use to talk about the differences in sizes of quantities. When we talk about order magnitude, it's the power of 10 that most closely approximates the number that we care about. So for example, 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third. So this would be order magnitude one or two or three. You might also say it as an order magnitude on the order of 10 or on the order of 100 or the order of 1,000 because 10 to the third is 1,000. In talking about differences between these, 10 to the fifth is two orders of magnitude larger than 10 to the third. That's because if you look at their exponents, you can subtract those exponents and say that, well, 5 minus 3 is 2. So that's two order of magnitudes difference between those numbers. And as I mentioned, we will say things sometimes like on the order of 10 to the third or on the order of 1,000. So what about 10 to the zero? What does that mean? Well, if we raise 10 to the zero power, we get one. So that's, we might sometimes call order unity. How about 10 to the minus one? Here, let's again do 10 to the minus one, and this will serve as a nice refresher for exponents. So anything to the zero power is one. Anything to a negative power is the same as dividing by the positive power. So that's one over 10 to the one, or just one over 10, which is one tenth, 0 0.1. So on the order of 10 to the negative one, that's going to be smaller than one. You could do similarly things like 10 to the minus third. That would be one over 10 to the third, which would give you one over a thousand, or 0 0.001, one thousandth. So what about the number 800, what order of magnitude is the number 800? Well, it's between 100 and 1,000. It looks like it's close to 1,000, but because of how this sort of geometric scaling is going here, or, you know, 10, 100 to 1,000, it's like halfway in between would be 550. But is that closer to 100 or is it closer to 1,000? Well, we have a tool for dealing with things that span large ranges like this, and that's a logarithm. So a logarithm, if we take our log base 10 of this number, that will give us the exponent that you have to raise 10 to to get that. So log base 10 of 800, you evaluate that, plug it into your calculator, you get 2.903. What that means is if I were to take 10 and raise it to the power of 2.903, that gives me 800. So that gives us the order magnitude. So between 2 and 3, where is it? Well, it's 2.9. That's the exponent. And we can round that to the first digit and say that that's on the order of 10 to the third or order magnitude three.